Stra Vushnalo Gloob. Yeah. Oh. Hi, Inez. I'm so glad to see you. Stra Vushnalo Gloob. Gesundheit. No. Stra Vushnalo Gloob. Do you know what I said? Said? I thought you were gargling. No, that's I love you in whatever language this country speaks. I wanted to say it in this country's native tongue because English is not enough. Have you found out where you're stationed yet? Still no idea. <laughs> and how did you learn to say the straw vushnalo glub? A gloob, second person informal, straw vushnalo gloob. Give me some credit. I got the straw and vushnalo right. Yeah, but you flubbed on the glove. So what did I say by changing glove to glove? You asked if I wanted fries with that. Are you funning me? Funning? What language are you speaking? Texan. I learned it from my great grandma. She said it to my great grandpa all the time. Did they teach you anything in accounting school? Certainly not funning, unless I missed the class on the amortization of English. How are you learning that language of wherever you are. Well, I had to learn how to communicate basic sentences to the local crew. They're doing a great job installing the new cell phone tower. Why would construction workers need to teach you how to say I love you? Because I wanted to say it to you and impress you and let you know how lonely I am for you. They liked that I was trying to learn their language. Well, at least they were laughing. Don't you think the crew chief might have gotten the wrong idea when you learned that? Well, she smiled a lot when I said it back to her. <laughs> For all you know, she could have been teaching how to say, there's a squid in my ear. Different cultures have different ways of showing affection. Some of them could involve ear-based squid. Hey, I've been asking the, the locals about what presents to bring back to you and the girls. What did they suggest? I don't know. I only know one sentence. So I'll bring back some local COVID masks for everyone. Oh, the girls will love them. Wait, what makes them different from masks made here? They're made out of yak hide. Oh, Louise and Baby June will be the envy of their schoolmates. Although Louise said she was hoping that you would bring her a visa. Get out of here and go there. Is everything all right? Oh, it was typical mother-daughter stuff. I told her to do her homework, and she said that she would rather expatriate. They taught her the word expatriate in school? Well, that was the gist of what she said. Maybe she was fun in you. <laughs> no. It was in the same tone of voice she used when I gave birth to Baby June and brought her home. Speaking of Baby June, she wants to know how many boxes of Girl Scout cookies you want. Well, she's not in the Girl Scouts. Was this a rhetorical question? They don't teach rhetoric to third graders. They teach expatriate. Baby June is operating as a sales subcontractor for Louise. Shouldn't Louise sell her own Girl Scout cookies? Of course she should, but she put out a request for proposals and Baby June gave her the best bid. How many offer roars were there? Two. Who was the other one? Me. How do the girls know so much about contracting? Jack, I've been working from home for two years because of COVID. They sneak into my computer at night and play games and read what I do all day. Now, doesn't the school provide them with their own computers? Sure, but the games are better on mine. I miss you and the girls so much. Oh, we all miss you too. I wish you all were here, but the borders are still closed because of COVID. When will you ever be able to get out? After the new communication system gets Omicron tested. Don't you mean beta tested? Oh, they actually do a lot more testing over here. I mean, even after it's tested, I can't get out till the ox cart driver returns. Well, how long is his route? The uh, best I can gather from the desk clerk is once every three weeks. By then, will the project be completed and you can come home? Oh, it better be. Hey, I got my first cell phone call based on the tower. What, does that mean I can call you now? Uh, only when the satellite flies by, but we're working on that as well. But wait, wait, wait. Who called you? Other than the office and me, who knows where you are? I don't know. It was a woman's voice, and she was breathing heavy. What did she say? Stra Vushnalo Gloob. I hope you hung up on her. Don't worry. I was just fun in you.
<laughs> I know, Jack. 